Samuel comes and anoints David as king. Now David knows that he's the future king. Now when the baker is hot somewhere in the valleys, David's father says, David, here is food. Be a messenger. Run and take food to your brothers. David does not think that because I am a king, therefore I am not worthy to be sent around like a messenger boy. But David obeys his father. Here is my point to you, that your glory lies in your obedience. Obedience will position you where your, your glory will find you. The other day, a blind man is brought to Jesus. And Jesus uh, 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 spits on the ground. He takes the dust of the ground, mixed with his spit, and he anoints the man's eyes with the mud. Now I want to submit to you that it is not the, 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 the spit of Christ that opened his eyes. Neither is it the mud that opened his eyes. But his eyes get opened when he obeys the imperative. Go and wash yourself. You will not be part of the glory unless you can master obedience during the story. God says to Joshua, the priests will carry the Ark of the Covenant. Now, the, the, the waters of the Jordan were overflowing their banks. But this is the command of God, that I will part the waters, but the waters will not be parted until the soles of their feet reach the level of the water. It is only when we begin to move in obedience that God will begin to part the waters. Do not wait for the waters to be parted before you can obey. Otherwise, you will never obey at all. Now David understands that if he is to really win the battles of life, obedience is an inevitable part of it. Are we together? David's brothers saw Goliath as a fellow soldier. They understood Goliath's tenacity. They understood his abilities. They understood the threat that was in Goliath. But when David looks at Goliath, David sees nothing but a man insulting the name of his God. He saw Goliath from God's perspective, not from a human perspective. He did not see the size of Goliath, but he saw the size of his God. Now, I want us to understand the battles that we will go into. God will not allow you to go into a battle that God has not anointed you to be victor over. God will not allow you to walk into a situation unless God has prepared and equipped you to be victorious in that battle. How then do I come to a point of knowing before the battle that David was going to defeat Goliath? Because in chapter 16, God anointed David as the future king of Israel. Now as David goes to battle, one man had to lose, but it was not David. Because for David, there was a throne awaiting him. As you go into your battle, your future is ascertained. You are there just to confirm the victory.